As our Aussie athletes prepare for Paris, there's a different kind of Olympics going on. These guys don't run, jump or swim. They build Lego and they're bloody good at it. Hi, gang. Oh, my God, you're real. <laughs> the sheer imagination of the contestants, it really does know no bounds. I remember after the first season, we're like, well, that's it. Nine <laughs> episodes, like, I don't think there's any other things you could build out of Lego. Then you find out from people that know a lot about Lego, it's never going to end. Now in its sixth season, this year, Lego Masters has a very Olympic theme. There's eight teams and it's the Aussies versus the rest of the world. Australia versus the world. Ooh. Some are calling it the ultimate battle for supremacy. Who's saying that? The Channel 9 ads. There's four teams from Australia. We've stacked the deck in our favour. <laughs> and four internationals who have the benefit of having competed on Lego Masters before. There's a team from the US, one from France, one from Germany, and the last from the motherland of Lego, Denmark. We are the quirky ones. We come up with silly ideas, fun stories. Friends Felix and Annalena are representing Germany. They won Lego Masters in 2020 but they say they're out to show they're now even better. Especially for me, it's really nice to have a, another, another opportunity to show what I'm able to do because in Germany I was not that good. <laughs> I think it's, we have kind of like, like a target on us because mm -hmm. we are the only team who has won before. So yeah, it's gonna be difficult. But standing in their way of world glory, Aussie mother and son duo, Diane and Shane. We just had lots and lots of Lego that um, we used and um, we put it away for many, many years and then he had a son. That reignited their love affair for the humble brick and sparked their building imagination. Having access to this many bricks is, is crazy. Like You can just build whatever you want. Yeah. It's... Now they'll be tested like never before, with Brickman and Hamish coming up with challenges this year which go far beyond what they thought possible. 99 times out of 100 what the contestants come up with, we're like, what a great idea. Yeah, like, how awesome is that? We ne you never guess what the contestants will build and it's always better. And six years into it, Hamish considers himself an expert now too. How essential is a snot brick when it comes to Lego Masters? It is actually very essential because snot Actually, I do know what that stands for. I mean, I've done it for six years, so I do have to pick some things up. That means studs not on top. So you've picked some things up over your time? Yeah, the little circles are studs. What's a poop piece? A poop Beg piece? P-O-O-P. What's a poop piece? It's something we do in private. The Australian teams are stacked with Lego experts too. Ben and Eric met working at a Lego store together. Sam's a brick artist, while Charlie is a master model builder at Lego in Melbourne. Plenty of experience to help when you're taking on the world. Now it's Australia versus the rest of the world, so I guess if you don't watch, you're a little bit un-Australian, which is a terrible thing to be in an Olympic year. Gentlemen, good luck for the next season. Hey, Keep. tell you what, why don't you take a few of these wedge plates with you? I don't think I can smuggle them <laughs> out. Ah, some okay. of the family. <laughs> Please. Like when you visit your nonna's house. We can't uh, let you go out of here empty handed. We kind of need You must those. eat. <laughs> we kind of need those, same. So. Okay, bye. We have lots. We have no, lots. we need those. No, we don't. Well, Stop giving away parts. There's always another way. Looks fun, and Lego Masters starts this Sunday on 9.